earliest practitioners face a daily balancing act between adult directed activity and child initiated learning. Today we're going to follow two five-year-olds in a reception unit and meet their teachers Joanna and Christabel who plan for this balance and make it happen. We're not going to give you a running commentary about what happens, we'll let the teachers speak for themselves. In our second programme, I'm going to be discussing with Joanna and fellow early years practitioners just what makes the most effective practice. Now we're going to the heart of Nottingham. The catchment of the school is very multicultural. 83% of our children are from an ethnic minority and at the moment, including the nursery, we have approximately 70% of our children with English as an additional language. It's a very open school where children are respected, families are respected and staff are respected. It's an uh, oasis in the middle of, a, of an inner city. I think working in an open plan school has got you know, many advantages but also disadvantages. Setting up things that might be sort of moved by other children from different classes and things can be difficult but generally it's nice to all be in it together. You've got four oh, yeah. sections. One... About two thirds of the children in the class speak English as an additional language and about a third of the class are on the special needs register. Uh, some of them for general difficulties, some of them for quite specific difficulties. We meet weekly to do an evaluation of the week that's, that's just happened and also to look forward into the next week and see what we're going to do and how we're going to move the children okay. on. Have you got any target children this week? Yeah, it's going to be Shweb. I just want to make sure really that he is applying himself because even though he is able, he doesn't always apply himself to the best of his ability. Mm. And I just want him to kind of consolidate his skills and be ready. So just want to make sure really that, that he is doing that. Mm. There's a few of them with me, but, but Jade in particular, um, it's her independent skills, making sure she can work and play and get along with children yeah. independently. So I think that's it then. Kinesthetic learning is, is so important for children of this age. They need to be active, they need to be doing things in order to learn. So I find that doing as many active things as possible just helps them to take in the information. Let's check. Slide back, walk away, climb up to the top. Three corners is what I've got. Three straight sides can tell us. When I've decided upon a target group or individual, for example today Jade, I'd make sure that within my whole class session I was involving her as much as possible, getting her out to answer questions, you know, actually doing activities with me. And why do you think that's a triangle? Do you want to tell everybody? It's got three sides. Three sides. What else has a triangle got? Three corners. Three corners. Can you about the triangle then? Give Jade a clap. Show me. What's the next sound in pen? N. Pen. Good girl. Well done, Hanan. That was very quick. F. 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 Can we remember how to write a I picked Shwebe because I feel that whilst he is very able, he doesn't always apply himself. He's often very keen to kind of get to the computer or the free play areas. If he picks something that he wants to do, he will stick, he'll persevere with an activity. He doesn't, he's not a child that flits about. <gasps> Lots of people can write it, so I saw all your magic pens, Sean, all in the air, all doing the right letters. Show us again, just to remind Shwebe. Starts at the top, comes down, back up and over and down with a flick. Starts at the top, 
comes down, back up and over and down with a flick. That's the one, thank you very much. Lovely. So we're going to go on a shape hunt. You're going to walk around and whenever you find a shape, you've got to pick it up and come and bring it and put it in the right place. Off you go. Let's see who finds some shapes and brings them back. I feel it's important to see the outside area just as another classroom. It, it is part of their learning environment. The children always seem excited to take part in activities there. So I, I think it's worthwhile using the outdoor area as much as you can. What shape did you find? Could, can you pick up what you found? And it was called a square. a square. Fabulous. You put it down then. Hamid, what shape did you find? Pick one of them up and tell us what it is. Hamid, what's that called? A rectangle. Oh, well done, Hamid. Jade, could you come and help me count, please? Okay. Right, we're going to pick up these shapes here. Ready to count on you, Jade, as well? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait a second, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Jade, out of interest, there were nine circles, weren't there? And there's 11 triangles. Is there more triangles or more circles? More triangles. Because it is a lot more than nine, isn't it? Good girl, you sit down. Aww. All the pictures you're going to draw, they've all got three sounds in them. I want you to put one sound on each of the lines that I've drawn. OK? If you don't know what something is, you can ask me and I will tell you. So it's not Boris, Alicia, is it? It's a bat. Bat? Hang it out! Pin. It's not a pin, what is it? You get a pin in it. You've got pins in it, but what is it? Box. It's not a box. Well done, you've got all three sounds, Shalove. That's super. Mmm, lovely. Choose something else to put just there. Fortuna, are you going to draw something, please? Oh. You're trying to write car, aren't you? And it, do you remember what that one was? It's not a car, it's a bus. So don't cross all that out. I'm going to give you three new lines, OK? Write bus on those three lines for me. Uh, which one of those is it? Mm. Well done, because you've got all three sounds. Good boy. Draw me a picture of it. What can we buy from the pet shop? What can we buy, Aisha? Uh, Snakes. Snakes, yes, Ellie. Dogs. Dogs. Jade, what else can we buy? Cats. Cats. Jade and Ellie, are you going to be the shopkeepers? Could Barricette speak to Jade, please, Ellie? Yeah. Okay, tell Jade what we want. A snake. A little snake's a rabbit. Hello. These are all the things that we want. We've got all nothing in the middle. Are you going to show us where they are? Let's explain what we want. Let's go and see, Barbara. We want to. I'd say observations are crucial. It's so interesting sitting back and seeing what these children are actually capable of doing independently. 
that it would be foolish not to. grown vegetables. He's been quite excited about, about those things and looking at them, observing them, seeing the changes. No, not a baby one. Whoa. That's a very Let small one. Yeah, when he's working independently, he is a child who will come to me quite excitedly to tell me what he's seen, what, what he's found out while he's been working independently. Wow, look at those. Look at the carrots. seeing Jade, the activities that she took part in, I saw not only in her mathematical development was she naming the shapes and discussing the properties, she was playing alongside others, she was interacting, not always independently, sometimes with a bit of a push, but she was capable of doing it. It's a case of balancing the independent activities with the adult supported and the adult led activities. It's fun to be a teacher in that environment, it's, I think it's fun to be a child in that environment. They have great variety in their morning. I hope you're going to join us in our second programme from Nottingham, where we're going to get under the skin of Jade and Schwabe's learning. Until then, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>